Welcome back to another Windcraft video. So, we have been hard at work on the island, and by we, I mean the builders. You can even see uh, they're working on stuff right now. He's working on the bank, which is a new building that has popped up since last time. So, we can take a little quick tour of the bank here. It just says, bank still under construction. Please do not touch. Because we have multiple builders working on it, we don't want multiple people... Uh, doing the same thing at the same time because it's just gonna, just gonna cause miscommunication but it's gonna have two floors looks awesome it's in the theme of the rest of the building and we finally have some wood in here along with this building you know there's not too much wood so it is nice to see some wood getting added in we do have the bazaar um, and then we have uh, Phoenix over here he's working on these mountains kind of making them bigger ish kind of making them more match these right side and then they're going to be texturing all of these mountain mountainous hills as well and then we're going to be adding buildings all in this section here um, and we're probably going to finish up this dock and we're, we're going to really try to use up the space maybe we're going to put like a, a building up here a shack i don't know we're going to really try to use up the space as much as we can uh, because a full island looks even better and i like that right now a big thing that i was you know talking to them about when we just first started this is i don't want to just have things i don't want to just have shells i mean i want to have like actual uses so it's pretty cool that we are going to actually have uses for everything that we, that we have built you know we have the bank here we do have like the bank block here but we're gonna have like actual npcs and such inside here um, so he's working on that and then again our big volcano it is like the the focal point of the island but it is also our pvp arena which i'm sure you guys have seen um and here is the entrance to one of the pvp arena sides potion merchant rules board um, and then when you jump in it automatically turns pvp on and it disables flight so if you ever want to come pvp people uh, this is a great place anybody's welcome to you don't have to have a set any special settings and then we also have teleporters um, here for arena left and arena right because arena right right now is actually blocked off uh, so you have to like go through that fake building on the side and then come in through here until we get that finished up but we do have these teleporters so you can get up uh, so you can get through all right and today we are going to be doing the realm of light 4 quest but before we do that let's head out of here and let's open our chest for the day we have two crates to open up as long as our daily reward i did miss a day so my five time streak is gone very sad um, i've never really gotten anything super good out of those anyway but still sad to see my five streak gone lots of rares in this one good chance we're gonna get a rare hope we do and we got a common all right chicken disguise let's open another one okay okay lots of rares come on we gotta get a rare in this one right surely looks like it should be a rare okay another relic what do we have here in terms of trade up okay so we need a common rare all of that and we'll make we'll make another epic so sweet we are making progress towards some more black market rewards um and which is what i want to do i just want to keep opening crates keep getting more and more black market rewards um so i do have a question for you guys what happens when you put black market rewards in um does it like, how does that work? Isn't black market the higher, highest rank? I don't know. So just let me know what you guys think happens when you try to trade up three black market ranks. Or, not ranks, but items. Alright, we walked up and, and Laurie's just talking already. Didn't even have to prompt anything. Uh, so you are needed here too then? I am trying to awaken the guardian of the forest to receive its guidance but it refuses to budge even the voice of orpheum provides no reaction i beg once more of you 
Awaken us to us to seek your wisdom. Okay. I present to you Orpheon's fairest light. Please respond. So she can't get the tree to See, respond to her. Nothing is happening. I'm at a loss of what to do. Maybe you can affect some change, considering what you've done before. My pulse, it is time. I shall shine my light upon the roots of the guardian. You and she must learn now. All oh, the tree is talking to us. Will shine his lights on the root. Secrets uncovered in the oldest libraries of Simfrost. That wasn't there before. It was that was completely instant. How did you even but still I knew I could be useful. Let me translate this for you. As a stranger to Gavel, you wouldn't know High Gavelian. It says Secrets uncovered in the oldest of libraries in Sinfris. Of course, a place that elves aren't allowed, but humans are. You'll have to find this library in your own, it seems. Okay, so I have to find a library in Sinfris. Because there is a secret library. It says find a church library in the city at this location. So I'm going to head over and I'll be back. Oh, hey, wait for me. Who, who are you? There you are. Good to see you managed to escape that horrid place. I don't remember who this is. I managed to get back in touch with the, uh, the transportation, transportation company. company I worked with. I got transferred to another route now. Okay. Oh, it's the guy I saved from the prison. Thanks to you. I thought I was going to get killed in there. This isn't much, but hopefully it can help you get it back on your feet. Okay. Anyways, I have to go now. 30 emerald blocks. I'll take that. Sweet. Well, I like that. Some extra money just for saving him. I didn't even know that was like a thing I that would happen. So anyway, let's find this secret library. I let's see here. Most of the pages are filled with religious verses. Oh, I think it's a code. Find a way up to the church bell. Okay, I should have read that. I think it says something about ladders and the bell. Find a ladder. Okay. No, how do I? That's the bell over there, right? No? Hmm. Maybe I do have to come over here. There's an arrow pointing this way. Okay. This must be the little bell tower area. It's a lot of work for someone that can just teleport. I, I don't know why I'm not, you know, in, in the lower, just teleporting to the top here. What do I have to do now? Yeah, let me just teleport. Thanks. Huh. Maybe teleporting was not the move because now I don't know how to get in there. I'll figure it out. What if I just go all the way to the top? Well, I was hoping there'd be like an opening in the ceiling. Oh, there is a little opening here. She's cracked open the foundation. Oh, okay. I'm just cracking open the foundation of a church to find a secret library. But here we are in the secret library. There's enemies down here. Interesting. So it's not so secret after all. This must be enemies from the... I don't know. The, the gavel guys. All right, let's see what the secret library has in store. This looks cool. This looks quite cool. Okay, it's building something out of emerald blocks. What is happening? I hope I'm not supposed to memorize a pattern here. Because there's no way I'm, I'm going to remember this. Can I step on him? Oh, it's probably like a, a, a like a bridge thingy for me to follow. Okay. Now there's another one. 
Again, this would be easier if I would just teleport. But I'll play along. Okay, made it to the top where there is a lever. So I'm going to activate this lever. The door below should be open now. Which door? This one. Deeper into the library we go. Those little bubble pop sounds are still happening. All right, got to find some level 70 mobs. Not too bad. I'm quite powerful. What did I say? Oh, they're behind me. You guys don't have any chance of defeating me. Okay, lots of money on the ground. Now we continue. Door shuts. And we gotta fight a couple more guys. Whatever. Yeah, what type of guardian you were. That's a very funny guy. Guardian of the forest information. Okay. Some of the few pages are ripped out. It seems to be describing an event occurring with the guardian of the forest until the first missing page. The rest of the book is in perfect condition. Who could have done this if the rest of the archives were locked away? Did someone enter before you? So it returned asleep and unawakable. The light has spoken of a time when the guardian shall grace us with its presence one more, once more. But such a time is centuries off and will require great effort. The spell included is vital to the process. The light also warns, if the darkness should encroach and reach the guardian's roots, it shall never wake, but it seems we will not have to worry of that. There's another loose page in here with more High Gavellian text on it. Lari should be able to translate this. Okay, so I've got a, a page that's torn out of the book that I can't read because it's High Gavellian text. So now I have to bring it back to Lari. All right, we are close to Lari. There's all these mobs that are spawning around. I don't know if these guys have always been here. I haven't really spent too much time in the area near the Light Forest. But here we are. She's still trying, huh? You reject the light of Orpheon? Wake him, please. Please tell me you're able to make some progress. The guardian still refuses to wake. What is this? A spell, a spell scroll, scroll of, of the, the waking, waking forest? forest? In Sinfras of all places, where it would have been impossible for me to go. Why could Elsa so not go there? I am chosen, yet I would not have been able to do what was asked of me. That, no, I can't dwell on that. Let me see the scroll. I'll be real, she's not a very good Orpheans chosen. Mm. It says the seeker must rest these words upon those of the guardian. I suppose that means you need to place it by the inscription. So yet another task you must finish. Go on she's then, jealous again. do it. I'm just needed here to be a translator for you thus far. It seems. She gets very jealous that someone else is going to save the world instead of her. So let's go ahead and apply this down. Awakening the Guardian of the Forest requires more than just magic. The home of the elves will house the answers and the revelation, or revelations. Dire actions in the presence of the Guardian will make will Let me go ahead things. and read this too. This will be tedious, I fear. It says, Awakening the Guardian of the Forest requires more than just magic. Yeah, we just read that. That, this is finally my time. I still have a hand in this. Finally, I can do something more than just holding stasis here. That's right. This is my time. I can help you directly. I know the elders of Aldori. They are sure to have answers. You have been helpful, even through my own worries. I must thank you, but you can relax now. I will be the one this time. You can continue doing whatever else it is you need doing. Okay. I have seen you helping in various places. Concern yourself with those for now. I this can really help. just the end of the quest. Pursue her, my She pursue must her. take dire action alone. Her light shall illuminate nothing. You must provide her direction. Okay, I'll do that. Not to follow Lari. What? You... Why did you follow me? I can handle this. I can finally be useful again. Do you... Not trust me? Nope, not at all. Told you to 
the voice of light told you to pursue her, you shouldn't stop now, should you? Uh, that's right. I'm not gonna stop now. Please, just respect my wishes. If I need your help, I'll go find you. For now, I should just, just tell leave. her the the voice. You don't need to worry about this. Told me to. Looks like the balance climbable. You should climb up and eavesdrop. Okay, I can do that. I'm pretty good at climbing, after all. Okay. Find a way to sneak into the hut. This kind of looks like a trap door there. Huh. Did I climb too high? There's got to be a way for me to get in up there. Let's see. There it is. She just keeps shooting me out with magic. Bro! So maybe if I kind of fly out here a bit, that will give me a better angle. Okay. She doesn't like me trying to go that way. Maybe I'll just have to like legitimately climb it. Even though that's more boring. Okay. Well, I'm up here now. I think this is the area with any of the leaves. So how do I do this? All right, I just had to do with the not fun mage way, but I am here at the top if eavesdropping now. If this human has truly done what you have said, then why do you spurn their aid? It is unlike you. Because she's jealous. I know, I know. I just am in disbelief. They've been contacted by Orphean himself, allowed into the tapbird. They have a symbol of Orphean's blessing. They just walked up after a thousand years of my putting my entire life into trying to save this province and do everything I couldn't in the span of weeks at most. Do you understand how infuriating this is? Can you comprehend such a thing, not having been in my position yourself? No. I cannot understand, but I also cannot understand how you are not grateful for this aid. I know I should be. It's all I've been able to think about. I should be ecstatic. The life will be saved. It should be everything I've dreamed of. But she's jealous. But it makes me feel like a complete failure. Like everything I have done has been for naught. That I have somehow been doing everything wrong. She's got main character syndrome. I know I've made mistakes. So the hand would still be, still be himself if I had taken faster action. But I can't have done nothing right. I can't accept that. This is my chance to prove I can still be useful. The Orphean choosing me wasn't a fluke. Please, the inscription said you would know where to go. Even after a millennium, there is so very much for us all to learn. Fine then. But promise me to accept the aid you receive. This opportunity cannot be wasted, Lari. I have to do at least one thing right. I can't just keep up this holding pattern. I will do whatever is necessary. You must seek the canned Abyss plant. Canned Abyss then. plant. It rests within a cavern shaded by giant fern leaves. In a leaves. cavern shaded by giant fern leaves. I can finally do what I was meant to do. I won't let anything stop me this time. Yeah, except your jealousy. Human, I can see you. Consider yourself lucky that she did not. Come talk to me. I don't know why the elves all have these this X above their head. So you are Orphean's new chosen. Yes, then. I am. It is both surprising and not. Humans have an interesting reputation. 
often said as being able to get anything done without limits, be it completing impossible tasks or breaking moral tenets. I am the impossible task breaker. In this instance, however, you've both to do. Orphean has commanded it, has he not? And so you must. And for that, I apologize. Okay. I have seen Lurie's work. You talk slow. And she has done this land a priceless service. Alone, she has kept the decay from creeping south. And thus the Guardian remains with us. Okay. However, her own morals prevent the situation from progressing. She cannot kill, and the source must be exterminated for light to once again fill the land. Orphean's circumstances are dire, and so you must come to understand something. She is above us in terms of morals. Such concepts do not apply to him. All right, Elder. You can talk faster than that. As the embodiment of light itself, he has no sense of morals, merely survival, survival and, stasis. and stasis. What he asks of us, many will balk at. Okay. It is a matter where morals must be set aside, and such a thing is one that Lari cannot abide by for she has stubbornly clung to them for a thousand years yeah her pacifism to break them i will admit i believe there to be some other way to solve these problems but the fact of the matter is there simply is no time left you're right, no time. She must use the extent of her powers, and while she retains her pacifism, that will not happen. I must ask you to follow her, as Orphean would wish. There is, unfortunately, no right to this. There is simple necessity, and there you must push her to her limits. Seek the cave of the canned abyss. Seek the cave of the canned abyss. It I is that. northeast, northeast from, here. from here. The entrance is shaded by giant fern leaves. Right. I only pray that this will be enough. Hopefully it's not too far. Oh, yeah, it's just right over here. Okay. The entrance is shaded by giant leaves. Well, there's the giant leaves. And into the cave we go. This must be the cave the elder was talking about. So we have level two, or sorry, 71 mobs. It's not too bad. Pretty close to my own level. I did wait a little bit to do this quest. It's like a level 73 quest because I wanted to get a lot of the lore stuff done in Ragni. Like the video that came out yesterday about all of the secret discoveries. But... Now, we can move on with the Realm of Light quest line, which is a, one of my favorites, not because it's like the most entertaining, but because of the character development in this quest line. Okay, so I have to right click this thingy here. What is this? Oh, gives me jump boost, like jump boost 77. Okay. This must be Lari's magic at work. Should refresh the jump boost. Lightweight major ID. Okay, well I didn't want to fall down. I guess I did. I don't know if this is easier than me maging up there, but this is what I will do. I should probably like use both at the same time, right? Jump. And then like teleport when I'm about to fall. Or to help me just 
get the rest of it. That last little gap that I might miss. Oh, okay. Or my jump is going to wear off. Like right here. I can just... Oh, I didn't fall. What do you mean? I'm the parkour master. Okay, we're almost there. I would love to be able to jump like this all the time. And there it goes. It's gone. And I bet Lari's going to be mad that I followed her, but I don't care. It's got to be right up here. Okay, now we got to fall. Is this like a dropper where we can't touch anything? I think it is. Okay, we have another jump boost, I think. We got to go all the way up there. Jump and speed boost. Oh, and I fall. Just go ahead and refresh it. Jump, jump, jump. For some reason, I always like to do parkour and stuff with an empty hand. Okay, I've got the canned Avis. Return to the tree. I don't know, it just makes me feel better when it's with an empty hand. I can't believe this. What am I doing wrong? What is it? There has to be some reason. What is it? There's not another inscription. It's just the same words. What does it mean by dire actions? I've done everything I can think of. Is... Is this not dire enough? Nope. Is pouring over you and putting aside my role and pride to someone else not extreme enough? Nope. You gotta put your morals aside. I have to know. What did Orphean tell you exactly? I can't stand not knowing any longer. Did he really replace me? I can't think of any other reason why everything for me has just stopped working. Did he please tell me? Wait. You... You have the canned abyss on you. Where did you get that? Where did I get that? I don't know. You, there's no way you would have known that unless you... You... You eavesdropped on me! Yes, I did. You followed me into the cave even after I asked not to. You... After everything I said, after you heard all of those private thoughts, you still decided it was a good idea to come after me. What are you planning to accomplish like this? You're not the main character, Laurie. What? Are you thinking, oh, let's follow the funny elf girl and see her fail over and over again, is that it? You heard me then. It's all out in the open. I can't succeed. You're there. You're doing everything I couldn't. I'm not a failure. Oh my I'm goodness. Not. I won't be. I refuse to be. You don't get to watch me flounder and flail. I don't Angry, Laurie. Anymore. Stop stealing my life like this. Okay. So she's a pacifist. Now she's fighting. Okay, I did not expect this. Honestly, I'm I'm caught off guard. It doesn't happen too often in this game. I did not expect Laurie to start fighting me. She's got a big case of main characters in there. Okay, the Guardian of the Force is stepping in. Did that just say 52? Different. It did. This is enough, Laurie. I awaken, and thus your task is complete. You have done as Orphean has asked. Huh? I... what just... what did I... I... just... I... <laughs> Tell me how this is enough! Tell me! Now! I... I nearly killed them. I just broke and defiled everything I've ever stood for! Tell me! How could this possibly be the answer? How could this be what needed to happen? Because you gotta break your pacifism, Laurie. Why would I be needed to? To do something dark, you are about to say. And to that I say you have not. 
trying to murder them because they did what I couldn't isn't dark? How can you possibly think that? You couldn't murder me. I'd win. What kind of guardian are you? Promising this kind of violence. How is anything I just did all right? For a thousand years or more of your own thought, I understand that you are conflicted. However, you have, in that time, made a grave error. You have grown to realize an incorrect assumption. Dark and light. They oppose. They clash. They create a cloying pox. But allow me to ask. I like the voice actor for the great tree. Is the, the axe guardian evil of the forest for chopping the tree? Is the wood evil for resisting the metal? Are the flames evil for burning up the leaves? Is the water evil for dousing the fire? Is a victim evil for striking back against those that have struck them? And most importantly, are any of these things light or dark? What connection does a primordial force have with the moral leanings of mortals or even immortals? You, you go, Guardian. You can't possibly be saying that what I did was the right thing to do. I refuse to accept that. I will not ask you to. You must understand that Orpheon has no moral bearing. He simply needs action. What you have done may not have been the right thing by anyone's account. However, it was necessary. You've thrown off your bonds, in a sense. Then, shouldn't I feel... I don't know. Shouldn't I feel less restrained? Less afraid? No, you shouldn't. More... More free? Because you're about to die by me. If what I've done was what needed to happen, why do I feel like the scum of the earth? Why do I feel so terrible? I admit, such a thing is a conundrum. I agree that it is a tragedy to kill. In many instances, yet, when such an action could save the lives of others, it becomes a conundrum with no answer, an impossible value to weigh. Despite the circumstances, You've done the best you could do. I cannot fault you for your thoughts and morals. True, true. And so, as you are now proven as I am awoken, the gateway to the light shall reveal itself to you. Lori, you must prepare for your journey to the realm of light. The realm of light. I... I need time to process this. Do you understand how difficult this is to hear? I do not blame you for it. By the time you have composed yourself, your ally will be ready. Understand that they are as necessary as you are. So me and Lari both have to go into the realm of light. For now, I must lean on what you have learned of the nature of realms. They must know what you know if they are to aid you fully. I must ask you to pay close attention. I shall present it simply. Though the enormity of this cannot be understated. Okay, a little cutscene. Let me show you our reality. It is difficult to present its scale, so here's an approximation. You must see. This is our world. The world we stand in right now. The physical plane of existence. Okay. So that's the physical plane. Only a select and that's few wind are and aware gavel. that there's more of the world than this. Even the astronomers and those who view the enormity of the sky cannot understand. All right. For you see, there's more. This realm, this plane, it is mirrored upon a second plane, as the embodiments of realms clash. Okay, so there's like a, in a backwards realm. This is the plane realm. of influence. Comprised of many realms. There are three you must know, but only one you must pay attention to. It's like to. a backwards plane. Plane of influence, the realm of light. The realms of influence are connected to the physical plane, tied inexorably so to it. This is why even those gazing at the cosmos cannot grasp the enormity of it. Okay. 
These realms are in a constant cushion. The realm of light, the Battles realm of that war. Cannot be seen by those of this world, waged constantly. In the realm of However, darkness. they can be felt. Wide scale changes to the balance of one realm or another are reflected on the physical plane. Okay. As the one realms of to influence another. are themselves reflections of a beast. They themselves a physical manifestation of their realm, as their realm is a manifestation of them. So that must be what Orphean is. So surely, you must know. As Gavel has decayed, it must mean that the realm of light is in peril, and thus that Orpheon is as well. Orpheon is in trouble. The light is infected. That abominable parasite has breached the realm of light and sought Orpheon to leech away his light. Okay. Oh, his light's going away pretty quick. And then because it's and happening so, on that plane. As the sun is forced to set, the land of Gavel grows dark. As the dark parasites spread and devour the minds of those here, so too is Orpheon subject to this torture. Oh wow. The balance shifts, and Orpheon grows weary, angered, desperate. He called to you as a last plea, and you have done admirably for what he has asked of you. Now, you must enter the realm of light Just enter and the aid realm of light. Lari in purging the parasite before its work is finished and Orpheon's mind is consumed. Okay. Get to go into the realm of life soon. I'm hoping that I'm able to do it pretty quick. Orpheon needs to save. I would gladly save Orpheon. Before this, of course. To venture to another realm is a lofty task. Oh, I'm going to have to do some, some pre... some prep stuff. I will bestow upon you two things that will surely aid you in this. However, first, I shall provide you the way to the gateway to life. Yes, thank you. Once you have reached it, I shall bestow upon you a personal blessing of mine, in the hopes that your path will become clear. Enter the portal, I shall show you the gateway to light, and I shall wish you luck. Okay. I think it's time to enter the gateway of light. My what? pulse. Your light is brilliant. It has shone upon Lari, and soon her light will shine my way. Okay. Enter the roots. Oh, and that's the gateway. To my realm. And then prepare yourself. Master your most blinding light. Time to go in. So, is this supposed to be the realm of light, or is this like the pathway to the realm of light? I'm guessing this is just the pathway to the gateway. This, is, this isn't looking like anything special right now. But I'm sure, coming up to it, this has got to be something up here. Okay, so it actually completed the Realm of Light 4 quest. Gained access to the Light Portal and I got Clear Sight Spectacles. Wow, that's that's really good. Sweet, it looks like. Let me check our quest book here. We have Rumblelight 5 unlocked, where we have to meet up with Lari. And then we can go and. I'm guessing Lari's already in there, so we'll probably just jump in to meet up with her. But sweet, we're going to end it off here for today. I appreciate you watching this video. Again, if you'd like to join our guild, the Discord link is. Or my discord is in the about section of the channel go over there join the discord and you can fill an application on the discord we're filling up fast there's only a few spots left so if you want in now is the time but thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one